Morning, Tess Plavenix from Windsurfing UK here and I just wanted to uh, run through a little bit about what we've got coming up in the next issue of Windsurfing UK as far as foiling equipment test goes. We get asked, we've been asked quite a lot about foils in the past. Um, in 2017 we started looking at foiling equipment, um, most notably with AHD's Sea Lion Wings AFS-1 foil and also right back at the start we combine the AFS-1 foil with the Shark dedicated foil board. This is one of the first uh, sort of dedicated foil boards that we actually saw um, and obviously from AHD who have been in the game for pretty much nigh on 10 plus years um, sort of one of the first brands to get involved with the whole uh, wind foiling thing um, so yeah check those write ups out online um, and you'll sort of get an idea as to as to what those are all about the, the AFS1 foil in fact as well one of the first generation foils uh, very early lifting um, not necessarily the same kind of design as these, similar, similar properties, but not quite like these two foils that I've got in front of me, or more modern foils. Um, but yeah, check those out on the uh, Windsurfing UK website. Um, in the meantime, like I say, we've got these two foils here. Again, we've got the AFS2 foil, which is from the uh, AHD camp, um, although is actually, as you can see, maybe on the foil itself, um, it's actually designed and manufactured by a brand called Foil & Co. Um, the AFS2 is pretty much one of the foils that uh, the PWA foil racers are going for. Um, not everyone, um, but it is a choice. It's a full carbon. It's a pretty significant piece of carbon, to be honest with you. It's a full carbon foil. Um, it's a high aspect foil, so you can see with the thin uh, sort of wings both front and back um, and yeah very much sort of build as a performance orientated foil moving on to the front and what you've got there is the H10 Evo from Haru Haru foil another French uh, foiling company that have been in it for around 10 years maybe a little bit longer um, <clears throat> this compared to the AFS 2 very much an entry level foil uh, you can see it's got more aluminium on it um, so you've got the aluminium headstock you've got a carbon mass so it is a mix and you've got two carbon wings you'll notice as well the front wing actually uh, the front wing is, is, is sort of almost a reverse angle of attack compared to the AFS 2 over in the back there um, you've still got you know your rear wing um, and then there's an aluminium fuselage on, on, on the Haru. Um, like I say, very much an entry, build as an entry level foil uh, from the Haru camp. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how the two stack up. Like I say, we're looking at these two foils simply because it's from two brands that have been in the game a while. And we're just intrigued as to see how they stack up. Um, obviously there are other foils out there, but these are dedicated foils from a dedicated foiling company. Um, obviously foils from other brands, you know, aren't any less dedicated. Um, but we wanted to check out these two first. So you can see, um, they're very different in terms of how they look. They're probably going to be very different in terms of how they perform on the water. Uh, the best way you can find out about how they do perform is stay tuned for the reviews, the write-ups, which will be coming in Windsurfing UK's sort of Easter-ish magazine. So stay tuned for those and uh, yeah, we'll bring the reports to you.